Hello everyone. Last year on the same time, we had a great awards night. But this year is all about staying safe, staying sane, but we have to do what we have to do. So welcome to Exhibit Tech Awards 2020 in the new normal, that is. But before we move any further, let's give a big round of applause to our jury members. Thank you, jury. Without you, we couldn't have done this. Thank you for all your time. It really means a lot to us. Even if it's virtual, it means a lot to us. Now guys, you know how it is done. First, we give a shout out to the brands. They give their nominations. Then we have a public voting at exhibit.tech. It's a month long voting process. Then together with the jury members, we choose all the winners. It's a transparent, legit process. And all the jury members, you know, the profiles are very big. They all are huge people in their own respective fields. And together, it's the winners are decided. So first up is the budget smart from the year. And the winner is Motorola One Fusion Plus with the 64 quad camera setup edge to edge display with almost uninterrupted battery life. It backed the award. Next one is the camera smartphone of the year. I've been personally using this smartphone and I can personally say that this is a great device. The size might be a detriment to a lot of people. It's got 108 megapixel wide angle camera. It's got 12 megapixel tele telephoto camera. It's got capability of recording 8K video. What else do you need? I mean, it's got everything that you need. So the Best camera phone from Exhibit Tech Awards goes to Samsung. Next one is the premium smartphone of the year. Of course, this category has been very hot and Apple iPhone 12 Pro came out winner. 12 Pro Max is even better, but I think 12 Pro is a great phone because it's got 6.1 inch display. It's easily portable. You can go to run with, you can do everything with it. Now, this category especially is a category which was not existing in the year before work from home laptop don't ask me why of course we all are working from home and hp came out winner because for the category we had a few categories a decent battery life not too expensive portable not too small not too big everything right in the right proportion and guess what the jury liked it the public voted for it and hp won the award the next one is the business laptop of the year which has gone to acer and for business laptop we had again a few categories it's a very sleek laptop it doesn't have too much of frills. It's got a great camera. It's got good security. And uh, it looks no nonsense. So congratulations, Acer. Next up is the gaming laptop of the year. Gaming is a very serious category and gaming laptops are becoming a very, very serious category. Dell Alienware with its M15 laptop, which is about 16 gig of RAM, i7, 10 generation, all of them are top of the line of specs. Mostly the design is very, very iconic. Once you are on Dell Alienware, you are not going to be missed. Next up is the TWS. TWS the category has become so big, you know, it's almost like a smartphone because there's so many players and so many contenders and so many people wanting a piece of it. But Realme with the Realme wire buds came out clear winner because it had the maximum votes. All of the jury voted for it. In fact, the price point of the Realme uh, buds was also very, 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 very attractive. So next up is the Sony headphone of the year. In fact, it's got noise cancellation, it's got sleek design, it really rests, where it can take your ambient sound and uh, it's, the nominations were again very, very uh, intense, but it came out winner. But this is again a very interesting category because TWS and wireless headphone of the year from the year, you can just dangle it around your neck, wear it, go for a run, keep it, keep it hanging and uh, Sennheiser, again, it's noise cancellation, great price point, attractive, very robust, came out winner. Next up is the smart web of the year. Smart web as a category, again, is very hot. People use it for running, people use it for a lot of other activities. Honor Watch GS Pro has came out winner. It's got 15 days, more, approximately 15 days of battery life. I've used it myself. It just doesn't go out on charge. That's not charged right now. That's a different story, but it's a great, great, great smart wearable. And uh, it connects to your phone seamlessly, looks good on your wrist, very robust, waterproof. I think it packs in all the bells. Every good piece of content needs to be stored and storage is very important. Data is very crucial and storage device of the year goes to Seagate and with a smart touch you can secure all your data. Gaming gear of the year. Gamers don't like to mess with the gadgets, they're very very sticky about them. And gaming headphone as a gaming gadget of the year, HyperX with a 7.1 inch surround system came out clear winner it was it's a great gadget and all the gamers watch for it now we have the luxury tech of the year luxury tech means 
something futuristic. And Z Fold 2 with this innovative design doesn't have a competition in fact, you know. Well, you all know everything about it. If you want to see a review of this, you can click on the icon on the top. Now the wireless router of the year, you can't connect to your internet and without internet you have nothing. So D-Link had won this award. Next is the innovative tech of the year. In fact, we were dabbling with thinking for who to give because it's Editor's Choice Awards. And as innovative tech, something we wanted which can bring a smile to a lot of people's space. And Sarigama Karwa Karaoke definitely does that. Since the time we reviewed it, you can click on the pop icon. We have got inundated with a lot of people asking for the karaoke and it has really brought us over with, it, with a screen which slides out. It definitely is a well packaged tool. Next one is the premium TV of the year that goes to LG OLED. We couldn't get the TV here because installation issues but LG won the award and we sent the award. Moving on, we have the 4K TV of the year which goes to Samsung Crystal TV again. You can take a look at the team nominations and the award. We have three more categories. The most promising brand under 12K goes to Techno. And the most innovative marketing campaign of the year goes to Sandisk. And fitness app of the year goes to Fitbit Premium. And with that, it's a wrap. The last one, the finale one, is the Tech Leader of the Year. And the Tech Leader of the Year goes to my good friend. I've known her for a long time, Devita Saraf. Of course, she couldn't be here. But Devita, this is for you. We are maintaining the social distance, so we didn't invite you here, but you deserve every inch of it because this year has been a bummer of a year for everybody out here. And you've, especially for TV business, you know, with imports restricted with everything, you've come out, you've kept the brand alive, you kept the brand buzzing. So guys, that was the wrap of the Exhibit Tech Awards 2020. I know it's an unusual year. We couldn't hold the party that we, we normally do. But next year, I promise you, it'll be a big one. I hope. We all stay safe, stay sane, and stay alive, and stay kicking. Until that time, take care.